Hey, this is Chris and we're gonna look at how to do landscape boulders really well. Whoever did this landscape did a great job in placing the rock so that it's not showing its bottom. They're nicely grouped instead of just like one little rock right here. I mean, how? come on, let's be honest. We go and drive around a neighborhood and they got like their brand new landscape and the landscape contractor was like super generous. He, put in this huge boulder it's like about 24 to 30 inches long and about 18 inches high i mean get real rock doesn't cost that much you go you're gonna get a boulder at least get something like that a good 30 to 36 inches tall and four feet long i mean have something that's attractive so it makes a statement that you know says i actually got some value for all the work that i just paid for go down here some beautiful red fountain grass here the color of the grass really ties in very well with the boulder work too it's a blue gray granite with a lot of iron in it that's oxidizing making this beautiful patina finish on it But it's not just a boulder, it's a boulder grouping. Your landscaper's, and we're talking about a decent landscaper, is charging usually a fairly high amount of money for some simple work. Come on, extract some value from that work. You know, what I would say is buy the rock directly from the quarry or the rock dealer and uh, have him install it. What's the point of paying the landscape contractor 25, 50% markup for the rock when all he's doing is installing the rock? His work should be paid for the focus of the installation and the craftsmanship. Go out and choose your own rock and get a really good value on it. So, go for a boulder grouping, not like this. Come on. Isn't this what we usually see in a residential landscape? Something like that sitting in the red chip mulch all by itself. And go from that to that. Now that is value. 